Hey you guys, welcome to Shauna Lynn. Today I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of my makeup getting ready for my bun tutorial. You know, I'm always trying to dance, thinking I'm cute. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna start off with my primer and moisturizer for my face. Adds a little bit of glitter and shimmer. Make sure my skin is hydrated. I have very dry skin. Fix my little earring. So you shape up the little bit of eyebrows I do have. I'm using um, a cream eyebrow enhancer. Using my angle brush. I draw mine on super thick because it'll give me more room to shape them and space them out. Get the other one touched up. Then I'm gonna go in and kind of fill in the spots that I didn't get the first time. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my MAC Concealer. And I use a really thin angle brush for this process. You guys don't have to go a straight line smooth through. You can start and then stop and keep going to make sure the line is straight like I'm doing in this part. See how sharp that eyebrow is? I draw them thick, but I get them thinner at the end. Same thing on the other side. I'm a little better on that side, so it'll be a little bit smoother. Okay, so we're gonna go on with our leftover concealer on that brush, and we're gonna just put that over my eyelids. So my shadow can blend and look smooth. We're gonna take our blending brush. Only use um, this brush for the blending of the concealer. That's the only thing you should use this particular brush for. Cause the next time you do your makeup, you don't wanna use it for something else and then have the wrong color left on your face. So we're gonna blend that in. Blending is the most important part of a beginner in makeup. The better you learn how to blend your makeup down, the smoother it'll look in different light. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Shimmer Bare Mineral sh um, Eyeshadow. I'm only gonna do this for um, half of my eyelid because we're gonna go on with another color on the tail of the eyelid. The good thing about having the concealer underneath um, when you're putting on your shadow, this helps your shadow not crease. A lot of people wanna know how my shadow is never creased because I have my concealer underneath. Now we're gonna go in with the second color, which is a bronze from a new palette I got a couple of years ago. And you see how fluffy this brush is? This is because you really want to blend in this type of particular eyeshadow. So it does increase. Now we're gonna go on with my NYX glitter glue. This can be used for the lips or even um, other parts of the face, like the eyes. So I use the back of my brush. I clean it with a baby wipe, and I use the back of my brushes because I don't like to get glue inside of my brushes. Here is the MAC Gold Glitter. I got this from a Christmas palette. 
that I had. They had a Christmas like gift set a couple of years ago. It is absolutely beautiful. Almost the same color as my nails. <laughs> so we're gonna do the other side. Y'all like that? All right, we rolling. So now I'm gonna clean off the, um, the fallout from the shadows. Then I'm gonna go on with uh, a little bit of my highlight to the top of my eye. Now we're gonna go into how I contour and highlight. I'm using my Artiste brush. Um, I love Artiste brushes, they really blend in really good and get your concealer as smooth as possible so when you lay your foundation, you don't have discoloration. And just the way they design their handle is like top of the line. They are about $60 to $100, so they are, you get what you pay for with that particular brush. I'm using 330, the matte, and then I'm also using this dream kind of like liquid and I mix those together so one is a lighter color and one is like a browner color and I mix those together to make a nice highlight color then I take my 355 which is the a darker than my skin color to do my contouring Now you guys want to make sure for the contouring part that you also blend in really well. That is like one of the biggest parts. Do a little mascara. Single little. Now I'm going to go in with another brush to blend my contour and highlight together. Do a little bit of my metallic lip stick. I'm going to go in with that shadow we were using earlier to make my lips really pop. To give it a more like pink metallic look. I'm going to get to this hair next. Don't worry. Because it ain't happening. So now I'm going to go in with my highlight. So finishing up this look, adding a little bit more get highlight. Get the top of my cheeks, get my chin, my nose, and then Gotta the do top some to this hair. So my, this is right how my bun turned my out. Um, I'll give you the link below of the tutorial of how I did this bun and how I got this look. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you and follow and subscribe.